This is some evil stuff going on. Now, Bishop, why did you go and say that? The worst that could happen is if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. And that's not the only thing that you need to do when you are a bishop, sir. That's not the only thing. If, if, the, if the allegations are true, like this this child allegedly is supposed to be taking um the, the it's going to be suing you it's supposed to be taking uh, ex uh, more extreme measures with these allegations no you need to sit down if the allegations are true yeah repent and i keep telling y'all this is where i say this god saves us from the sin but not the consequences you're gonna go to jail sir if the allegations are true it don't just stop at you repenting it's many people in prison that are repentful now, but they're still in prison. Because you, you better bow down to only one man, and that's Jesus. I don't bow down to none of these bishops, pastors, preachers, teachers, evangelists, prophets, none of that. Because we, we prophesy in part. We're not Jesus. Okay? So the moment that you feel like any of these leaders are perfection to where you can't hold them accountable, you're not, you don't know your word. The word of God speaks about exposing wickedness. If these allegations are true, okay, that's wickedness and it needs to be exposed and it needs to be removed. Not just stepped over in the words of the bishop. It needs to be removed. Mm. Keep on going on. Glory to God, I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble. Oh, wow. That's wickedness, and it needs to be exposed. I'm a brand new creature because the army done died. I'm no. I'm no. What up, you guys? Tis the season for some demons. Okay. And I'm, I'm so serious about this because, baby, this ain't got nothing to do with the Lord. Okay, because this is some evil stuff going on. Now, Bishop, why did you go and say that? I'm just curious, okay? And you're going to be curious too. This particular um, reactional video is very, very interesting. Very interesting. Now, if you aren't aware, it's been some allegations that have been running wild, child. Running wild about Bishop T.D. Jakes, okay? Um, some egregious allegations. And he decided to... Um, not speak on them, but speak on them, <laughs> okay? And then um, it's, it's been some speculations that on this particular live stream, he put his foot in his mouth. So when the playback came back, it was some pieces missing, okay? And we're going to get into some of those pieces. And I just, I just, I'm just curious if you feel the way I feel in regards to this, these, these clips that were pulled out or this particular sound bite that was pulled out. Because I was just like, mm. Let's let's go ahead and get into this reactional video, okay? Join me, okay? I want you guys to hear. The, I can understand the lore for those. And shout out to make it make sense as well as where he got this particular clip. You're gonna hear who this person is. So shouts out to him and her. I give them all full credit. Of you guys who do not believe him, I also understand that you know you probably didn't or will not watch that. <laughs> well, whatever the case. He took some parts out of the sermon that I thought were strange when he said them, but still, I want you guys to hear them. Shout out to the Tyrese Report for um, allowing me to use this, but I, I'll let you hear, we'll talk. Here we go, y'all. Y'all remember last Sunday? And I told you to keep it moving. Tell somebody to say, keep it moving. Glory to God. Keep it moving. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. There's enough power. Okay, right there. Yeah. Okay, right there. Now, why would you go and say that? Why would you go and say that if everything was true? All I would have to do is go and repent. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. However, if you offend your brother, it's some steps that you take, right? It's some, it's some steps you take, and especially in your in, in, in leadership position as far as a pastor, a bishop, okay? You're supposed to go before your congregation, apologize, and be be transparent. Actually, you're supposed to remove yourself, gone on about your business because you are out of order. However, why would you even say that? Like, I wouldn't sit up there and say, well, if it did happen, all I got to do, like, it didn't, right? 
So why are we even why are we even hypothesizing? Why are we even playing with that? Yeah, he said it, y'all. That felt preemptive. Right. If the rumors were true, the worst thing that I the only thing that I would need to do was repent. And that's not the only thing that you need to do when you are a bishop, sir. That's not the only thing. If if the if the allegations are true, like this this child allegedly is supposed to be taking um the the it's going to be suing you. It's supposed to be taking uh, ex more extreme measures with these allegations. No, you need to sit down. If the allegations are true, yeah, repent. And I keep telling y'all, this is where I say this: God saves us from the sin, but not the consequences. You're gonna go to jail, sir, if the allegations are true. It don't just stop at you repenting. It's many people in prison that are repentful now, but they're still in prison, serving life sentences. And also because what you got to understand, we're going to go somewhere after we leave here. That's the salvation of the Lord. That's where that, that that's where the Lord comes in. He saves your soul. But this flesh, we got we got to bear the consequences of the actions that we that we choose to take on her. That's why all the sinning that you guys choose to do that we choose to do at times, we have consequences. You lay with 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 several different men, you can reap the the consequences of getting diseases and all sort. You continue to live a life of where you're drinking, smoking and stuff like that, you can you know, end up taking somebody else's life out behind the wheel or what have you. And I can keep going on and on with the consequences of the choices that we make when it's pertaining to sin. So no, Bishop, you can't just repent with the Lord and that be it. And everything is great and fine and dandy. And I get the washing of the blood of Jesus, but you still have to reap the consequences of your actions, period. So, yes. That was strange to me. You guys can me put too. in the comments in, in the replay gang if that was strange to hear somebody. If anything, I would have thought that he would only denounce any claim. Exactly. Exactly. I would think you'll be on there saying just period. It didn't happen. Not know what if it did. You're kind of trying to put that out there in 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 the event that something hit the fan. You be like, well, I you know you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? It's it's not a it's not a denial, but it's not a, a a acceptance, if you will. You don't play like that. And see, this is what people in the world do. You get so close to that sin line, right? And be like, well, I didn't get over on it, but you got close. Like, why are we playing with it? But again, guys, he took this segment out. Let's continue. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sin. I don't care what it is, the blood would fix it. But blood will help your eternal soul. He is not going to cover up, you know, in the windows <laughs> or the choices you make. The blood don't work like that, Bishop. And if you was truly in your words, sir, you would know that. You can't just put the blood of Jesus on everything. That's just like people, you know, uh, trying to put the blood of Jesus on on homosexuality. I plead the blood of Jesus. If that person is 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 allowing that spirit to have legal right, ain't ain't no prayer. Your prayers ain't gonna do nothing, sweetie, because you have to release. That's just like accepting the Lord. You have to accept Him. That's why when people are, we're all God's children, are we? If I, I, you ain't got no relationship. That's why when he comes, he's going to say, turn for me. You work of iniquity. I know you're not. Oh, you can't just come in, in into his family like that. No, you have to accept him. And that's why I said that some, some weeks back when my son came to, um, when he converted over to Christianity and people were kind of like, what? Well, not people was kind of like, what? But I, I just felt like it kind of came off as like, what? Because I did a TikTok and pertaining to that saying that, you know, it's not enough that your parents are Christian. It's not enough that you're living a Christian lifestyle and you just assume that your kids are Christian. No, did they, did they accept the Lord Jesus Christ? As their savior, did they say that? Did they do that? You get what I'm saying? We can assume all we want, right? So the thing is, is that no, sir, you can't just slap the blood of Jesus on your sin, sir. You have to repent 
You have to stop it. You have to turn away from it. And if the allegations from this baby was years ago, but then you got some issues coming up with the likes of P. Diddy and what he's doing in his party, mm, it seems like you, you're still doing it. The blood of Jesus is not going to continue to let you be a worker of iniquity, sir. I ain't got to repent about this. All I got to do is step over top of it. So you don't have to repent about this. Uh, but what else? You didn't say, I don't have to repent about this because I didn't do it. Because I didn't do it. But all you say is, I don't have to repent about this. I just step over it. Like it's just a lump in the road. Oh, I'm just, mm, it's like a little hurdle. So I used to run track. I can't just bulldoze or do the hurdles. I have to jump over them, but it's there. You get more saying? See, I, I don't know. I, I read between the lines and I listen to detail and I'm, I use that stuff. I use your own words against you in the court of law, up in the court of Whitney. All right. But that didn't sound right to me. You just going to step over this, but it's still there. Right? It, it's still there, sir. Mm. Keep on going on. Glory to God. I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble. Oh, wow. I'm talking about the power of the blood, amen. Thank you, Jesus. I have used it and I will use it again, but I ain't got to use it for that. Thank you, Jesus. I'm talking about the power of blood, uh, the power of the blood of Jesus. I've had to use it before, but I don't have to use it for that. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever I need it, it's available to me and it's available to you. So he took this out of the of the broadcast. Now I want to show you guys the other thing. We talked about this this morning. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to stop right there. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. You know, I don't have a heaven or hell to put Bishop T.G. Jakes in. But as a fellow citizen of the body of Christ, I have the right biblically to pass judgment and assess this situation um, being a family member. Right. And see, people get a misconstrued that we can't hold these leaders <laughs> accountable when Jesus did. He called the Pharisees serpents. They're, they're seed of the serpents. Their father is the devil. Okay. And these are Pharisees. Okay. That knew the word of God. But see, that's why I was saying before in the TikTok that I did. Don't get over religious people. Because you, you better bow down to only one man. And that's Jesus. I don't bow down to none of these bishops, pastors, preachers, teachers, evangelists, prophets. None of that. Because we we prophesy in part. We're not Jesus. Okay. So the moment that you feel like any of these leaders are perfection to where you can't hold them accountable, you're not, you don't know your word. The word of God speaks about exposing wickedness. If these allegations are true, okay, that's wickedness and it needs to be exposed and it needs to be removed, not just stepped over. In the words of the bishop, it needs to be removed. And this is just, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And that's interesting to know that this particular clip was pulled out of his live stream. And I feel like some legal actions came. They like, oh no, sir, you can't be talking like that. But what's done in the dark is going to come to the light. It's going to be revealed. And like the word of God says, there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, so these allegations, the things that's happening right now, it, it happened in biblical times as well. But let me know what y'all guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. God bless, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year to you all. Hey, Whitney D here. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you click the subscribe button if you have not done so already. And make sure you click that notification bell, moving for personalized all, so you can receive all the updates that I place here on the channel. You can get all the notifications, okay? And make sure you connect with me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Well, all right, you guys. I love you, but most of all, God loves you. Until next time. I'm a brand new creature because the only that I'm new. Yeah, I'm new.